Greetings, survivors and friends. Can you feel that? Kind of tingling sensation at the back of your nose, a crackling in the air, a weird metallic taste maybe, the hairs on your legs standing on end. No, it's not trapped wind. That'll be electricity. So, suddenly, earlier this week, some commits started popping up about electricity. Wires, logic gates, that sort of thing. It seems like now other projects like the hot air balloon and cargo ship are in a decent shape. Helk has decided to go full power on something I think a lot of us have been buzzing about for a very long time. It's all still a work in progress, of course, but he's shared some videos of the current state of things with me and now I'm going to share them with you. So, it looks like we'll be getting a number of deployable switches, sensors and logic gates to place in our bases and the placement seems to be quite freeform at the moment. There will also be a new wire tool which you'll need to equip in order to join things together although wiring itself will be invisible as far as I can tell. This will let you connect your power source to whatever you want to power and then hook everything up in a way that hopefully makes some kind of sense. Talking of which, although this video shows a generator deployable, I'm told there'll probably be a number of different ways to generate and acquire power down the line, and I'm sure we'll get more details about this soon, hopefully with the good old wind turbine being one. In this video, you can see that ceiling lamps will actually require electricity soon instead of a bulb full of low grade, and you can see just how quick and easy it is to set up a simple circuit with this system here with two switches operating the same light. But what if you want to switch on all the lights in your base with one deft flick? Not a problem. Here you can see how multiple lights, or indeed other things, could be strung together and operated in one go. Smashing. Those of you with a resistance to touching knobs will be pleased to know that automatic doors are soon to be a reality with all of this too. A door opener can be attached to said portal and triggered in many different ways. Firstly, we have a simple switch which could be quite away from the door it opens, allowing remote operation of airlocks for instance. Secondly, a pressure pad, and don't worry I'm sure the model's just a placeholder at the moment, but this could help you make super smooth exits and entrances to and from your base, provide one-way access to certain doors, or of course automatically open a door with a turret behind it. Lastly, here we can see something slightly more complex with a timer switch being added to the system, meaning that the door will stay open for a set period after triggering via the pressure pad. Nothing is set in stone yet, of course, as this is still being worked on hard. However, I do know a couple of things. Power sources will have a limit to their output, and each thing you attach to the circuit will eat up a certain amount of that energy. Also, the circuit parts I've shown you here are only the start, and there will be many, many more including various logic gates, splitters, and other types of detectors, such as passive infrared. I'm sure, like me, you've got a lot of questions, and I'll hopefully have the answers to them for you as the month goes on, so stay plugged in. What I'm sure you can tell, though, is that this is going to be a complete game-changer when the switch is finally pulled, with the only limit being your devious little imaginations, and I'm amped up to see what sort of spicy circuits you produce. Exciting times. In other news, what is one thing that Rust needs? needs more of. Yes, that's right, boats, of course, and it looks like we've definitely not finished with the water yet, but this time it's actually a little bit different because a new spawn option has been on the roadmap for a while, and that is a barge that circles the island, allowing players to jump off and swim to shore when they choose. As you can see, this one will offer protection to anybody wanting to use it with peacekeeper turrets to keep you safe from pirates or maybe keep them safe from you, I don't know. Although it's early days on this too, so I don't know any real details apart from that it looks like it'll be an optional spawn point and that you won't be forced into using it. Other stuff this week, the hot air balloon's jibs have been updated and made better. Those are the bits that it disintegrates into when it gets destroyed, so that's nice. It looks like the underwear censoring option for when pixelation just isn't enough will be making its way into the game this month. Hopefully. Of course, this isn't going to replace pixelation or full on naturism if you want. It'll just be an extra option to protect against demonetization on a certain large video site that you might just be watching this on right now. The ability to place NPC vending machines was added to the map making SDK, which means that custom map designers will be able to build shopping facilities into their monuments soon. And work continues on the new oil rig monument, which I told you about last week, although sadly, I still don't have any visuals, so here are some real life examples to tide you over.
And lastly, just something fun that was brought to my attention, there seems to be a new experimental bear in town. Actually, I don't know how long he's been there, but admins can spawn a very buggy version of him with spawn bear full in console, although be warned, he does like to teleport to the centre of the map, usually underground. The main difference with this chap is that he stands up when you get a certain distance away. I don't know what it means, or when it was introduced exactly, but it's fun to watch, so enjoy. And if you bear with me, I'll let you know of any more grisly details that emerge. Thank you for watching this week. Don't forget to stimulate the like and subscribe buttons and turn notifications on. Please leave me a comment and let me know what sordid purposes you'd use electricity for down below. Come and join me elsewhere on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Discord and my Steam group. And I shall catch you all soon. But in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio.